I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Hi, I'm Luke Ryan for JoeBlow.com and welcome to Movie Endings Explained, where we'll be taking a look at some of the more ambiguous and discussed movie endings that have left audiences debating their true meaning long after the credits have rolled. This time we're going to be looking at one of the most iconic films of the 90s, David Fincher's Fight Club. Adapted from a 1996 novel of the same name, Fight Club was released on the 15th of November 1999, and due to some questionable marketing, ultimately underperformed at the box office. However, by the time the movie hit the relatively new format of DVD, word of mouth had spread and it was a smash hit on the home video market. Fight Club began its life as a cult film, but has since gone on to be remembered as a classic of its time. The film follows an insomniac, traveling automobile recall specialist played by Edward Norton. And if you haven't seen Fight Club, why are you watching this video? Go watch it because... Spoilers, the Ed Norton character is unnamed, the narrator, or to simplify proceedings, we'll call him Jack, as he often quotes phrases such as, I am Jack's smirking revenge, referring to Jack as a name of the everyman. He meets a man called Tyler Durden, a charismatic soap salesman played by Brad Pitt. Tyler takes Jack in after his apartment explodes and the two begin to form a bond that mostly becomes sealed by fighting each other, an act that slowly draws crowds and creates their underground fight club. I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Tyler heaps his nihilistic views onto Jack, chastising him for subscribing to materialism and following the crowd. Slowly but surely, with Tyler as the figurehead, the fight club evolves beyond men simply meeting up to test each other's physical and mental limits into a militant anti-corporate organization named Project Mayhem. Jack becomes unhappy with Tyler over the group, believing that it's taking things too far until that famous scene when Jack learns the truth. Now answer me, why do people think that I'm you? I think you know. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Why would anyone possibly confuse you with me? I, I, I don't know. You got it. No. Do not fuck with us! Say it. Because... Say it. Because we're the same person. That's right. We are the all same all dance and crap. Looking for a way to change your life. You could not do this on your own. All the ways you wish you could be, that's me. The central twist of Fight Club is what really got people talking, what really drove those DVD sales and the glowing reviews that didn't seem to affect the box office either way. The idea that Tyler Durden was in fact Jack and that Jack is suffering from dissociated personalities within his own head gives the story an incredible new spin. It begs for re-watching, noticing little details you hadn't seen the first time, a completely new perspective placed over every single frame. The third central character in the film, Marla, played by Helena Bonham Carter, first meets Jack at a testicular cancer support group meeting. Jack and Marla share a lot of similarities, outside of them both being imposters at the same meeting, and as she pops up more in the movie, she enters into a sexual relationship with Tyler, which makes things a little awkward for Jack after he realizes the truth of who and what Tyler Durden really is. I I've come to realize something very, very important. What? Uh, the full extent of our relationship wasn't really clear to me up until now. So, concentrating on Jack and Tyler being the same person, an idea that in the discussion of most movies would be nothing more than a wild fan theory, is an actual and significant part of the plot. What are some of the clues? Very early on in the film, we see split-second splices of Tyler in the frame, an example of subliminal messaging that Tyler himself references later on in the movie. They're hints of the fractured beginnings of Jack's Tyler delusion, beginning to crack through his mind. Tyler is Jack's wish-fulfillment self, a man able to break past the consumerism and bullshit of the dictated modern life and lead his own path, something that Jack feels he is unable to do as himself. In the scene where Jack confronts Tyler over his secret Project Mayhem group, the car crashes.
In the scene, you can see that Tyler was driving, yet when the car is turned over in the wreckage, Tyler climbs out of the passenger side and helps Jack out of the driver's seat. Even in the opening scene of the film, where we begin at the end, a clue is dropped when Jack says this. I know this because Tyler knows this. I know this because Tyler knows this. There it is, right in the opening scene. Once the wheels are off and we reach the climax of the film, Project Mayhem are set to blow up a number of buildings that house credit card companies' records, with Tyler's goal to erase global debt and put everyone back on the same level. Jack tries to stop Tyler, even knowing that he's fighting himself. He is unable to break himself away from his own insanity. In their final confrontation, Jack realizes the only way to truly stop Tyler is to kill him. And the only way to do that is to almost kill himself. Tyler, I want you to really listen to me. Okay. My eyes are open. By shooting himself through the mouth and seeing Tyler's brains blown out, Jack is seemingly free of Tyler. Or is he? At one point he is able to make himself realize that he is the one holding the gun. But he can't just shoot Tyler and kill what is effectively a hallucination. His mind has regained some control, but Tyler is still there. So in taking Tyler's advice, or his own advice, he hits bottom and puts the gun inside his own mouth. Now the bullet goes through Jack's cheek, but through Tyler's head, which doesn't make much literal sense, but then it's not a very literal situation to begin with. In Jack's mind, it was symbolic in killing Tyler and freeing himself of his second split personality. But is Tyler Durden truly dead? In a sense, no, as Jack is Tyler, and given the fact we never know Jack's name, and that the reward for Project Mayhem members who dedicate themselves to the cause is to be given a name, and seen as the huge plan of destroying all the buildings goes through at the end, Jack could very well end up becoming Tyler Durden, if only in name. One of the wilder theories out there on Fight Club is that not only is Jack both himself and Tyler Durden, but that Jack is also Marla. Beyond the similarities between the two characters and them both attending a testicular cancer support meeting, in one scene Marla takes a bunch of jeans out of a washer, then proceeds to sell them. An act that could be seen, if you believe the theory that Jack is also Marla, as Jack rejecting his masculinity in that moment. I for one don't think this theory holds too much water, but it's fun to think about, and Jack's head is surely missing enough connecting wires to allow such a thing to happen. The bottom line is, almost every moment between Jack and Tyler can be accounted for as far as an outside perspective goes, as seen in these moments when Jack is told the truth by Tyler. Yet Marla shares some physical interaction with other characters. However, again, Jack is seemingly capable of imagining quite a lot of extra details, so it's not completely outside of the realms of possibility in this story. There are seemingly unlimited theories about Fight Club, based purely on that classic twist in the third act, as it's so wild you could feasibly apply it to almost anything, especially in a film so rich and dense with detail and layers. Many people believe that Bob, for example, the character played by Meatloaf, is also a figment of Jack's imagination, or another part of his own personality. Or that there is no house where Jack and Tyler live for most of the film. Is there a weight to these ideas, or are people simply looking too hard? For the most ardent of fan theorists, this movie is a feast. So have at it, and let us know what you think in the comments below. I'll leave you with a recent comment from director David Fincher about the film. Fight Club is about the most dangerous thing in the world. Ideas.